What's going on, beautiful people? I'm Lando Success, and by this point, you know the routine. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell notification. That gives you up-to-date information whenever I drop a new video, which is just about every day at this time. But um, we got some good news, man. Coinbase just released their beta NFT marketplace. So if you go to the website, you see it say Coinbase NFT beta. So that means it's not the final version of it, but this is exactly how it's going to look. 0% coinbase fees for a limited time now the question is how long is this limited time so whenever you purchase uh nft you're just paying no fees right now but that is a great promotional thing because i believe OpenSea and you know all these other marketplaces they have to get their cut you see it say create collect and connect discover your feed and they did this a promotional video that i did at the beginning of the video then if you scroll down a little bit you see some of the options you have boss beauties you have siberia doodle so this one actually looks sweet you know i like that one and i noticed they've been having a lot of women empowerment ones because last month i believe march was woman month so you know they have a lot of those all the hottest nft collections are on coinbase nft you see it have build your community find and follow creators and collectors so they're going to have a strong thing where you can literally follow your creators and it's not on instagram but it looks completely like instagram so that was a very smart move to make it go like that and i believe you can just follow them and whenever they release something they will have like a cult like following where you'll be able to just follow them with inside the brand so that was a smart move from them almost ready for you are you ready for us general access to coinbase nft is rolling out soon if you have an invite code you can get started now so basically you have to um sign up forever ago with the join a wait list i did probably this video like six seven months ago where it's like all right you join a wait list and you can get emailed once it's actually ready now since i am not high enough on a wait list i didn't receive the invite code and it could be certain whales or certain creators that they possibly sent it to but you know we don't really need to get inside because we're going to see all the same stuff anyway it's really common sense at this point they say we are building a social marketplace powered by web3 you won't need a username or password instead you'll use a self-custody crypto wallet as your digital passport to log in you'll use it to pay for stuff and store nfts right now we support coinbase wallet metamask and more so mainly most people just going to have coinbase wallet because you are on coinbase it kind of makes sense and you see what they have at the bottom but i want to go through each one search you can basically search for whatever artist you are looking for and if we click discover now they have different ones at the top where you can scroll through a little bit you can see what's going on they have the last sold price they have how many people loved it and how many comments and since it's new let's see this one have some comments right here and so i can buy this from you lol dips upsell so it's real people already commented since it just went live so it's going to be good to build your you know your brand or your presence on here once they do open things up you see right here it's a trending collection so these are the ones that are trending i don't know if they paid to get on here or is it trending by volume i believe if we keep on looking we're going to see it so this is a flow guitar now this is dope because you know floki is a meme token and you know they basically have their nfts you know flow guitar now whenever you want to go buy one for example to say lasso all you're doing is clicking it and you know this one actually not for sale we will find one where we can actually purchase well they won't let me purchase it since i am not invited into the real thing yet but you know let's go to shop so now we are shopping nfts at the top you can click you know the most recent the oldest the uh, highest price the lowest price this one say buy now and this is under one eve so that can possibly be let's just round it up and say two thousand dollars and they tell you exactly what type it is who is the owner or the collector who made them the background of it once you click buy now you see they're asking for you to enter that code that they sent with the email but all it would basically probably ask is for you to connect your wallet and purchase it and you have it literally that quick so some tips i'm going to have for you guys is basically or just some game when it's come out 
I know a lot of people are just going to want to own an NFT because of the excitement on here. If you do that, 90, probably 9% of people are going to lose money. At this point, buy from a company that has already have a track record of success. What do I mean by that? You can go to Trending. If you click Trending, let's see. Right here, Trending Collection, you see Moonbirds, you see Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Board Ape Yacht Club, you know, CryptoPunks. We have heard a lot of these companies. Azuki, you hear that? And you see this the highest because of the trade volume. Over 84,000 ETH been traded in the last seven days. That's crazy. And let's see, because I never heard of Moonbirds. And you see right here, the floor price is 42 ETH. Jeez, so these little things look terrible. <laughs> you know, it's blurry. You really can't really see it. If anybody is hip to Moonbirds, let me know. I actually never heard of it. Say <laughs> these NFTs just started. Like, and they already got a lot of people commenting on them. So I don't know if this is an inside thing or what's going on, but dead people is buying them. So you have to look into Moonbirds, but that's probably higher than, you know, the average price. So what I would do, we know Board A Yacht Club is too high. I would look at something like Azuki because, you know, you got a lower price. I have heard of them. I know they are legit, but, you know, still going to cost you a little bit. You can look at the brand, see the track history of some of their nfts because a lot of creators are going to come on here and they're just going to be trying to sell nfts and they actually going to get rich off of you because you don't know anything about coinbase or nfts and you're just trying to buy something for 50 dollars and hope it go up it could but you know in my opinion i'm not a financial advisor just you know brother giving y'all some game i necessarily wouldn't do it now i wonder if it's say the, the history this show who is it created by i'll have to look more into it to see where you can see the full history how they have like on a open sea and the next thing is i want to take you guys to their twitter so i was looking at their twitter already to have over 460 thousand followers which is absolutely great and i'll probably play this video at the end of this i don't know if i would get a copyright strike so if you don't see it that's because I got a copyright strike. But um, this is actually interesting. We're going to read this. It's going to take a little second, but not too long. But I think this is important, especially for creators. If you are a creator of an NFT, this brother say today we announced the beta launch of Coinbase NFT. We also want to highlight how we plan on supporting royalties for the creators. And I think this is good, even though you are not a creator of NFTs, but to know how the creators get paid and to see exactly how it go. So he said, first off, what creator royalties are and why they are important. Creator royalties provide the creator of the NFT a percentage of the sale price each time the NFT is sold. These percentages are determined by the creator and can be baked into smart contracts. So just keeping it real simple, whenever I do an NFT, I can say, yo, I want 5% royalties whenever you sell it. If I sell it for $100, then you sell it for 200, I'm getting 5%. Then you sell it for 2,000, I'm getting 5%. You sell it for 20 million, I'm getting 5%. So that is a dope thing for creators and that's why NFTs are you know, growing. Getting creators royalties right, meaning enabling creators to set their royalties and ensuring royalties are paid out on secondary transactions. It's critical for preserving true creative ownership for creators because people know nfts are growing you can have a lot of companies say yo we can pay you your royalties out of this company and scam a lot of people so you need a reputable company and say what coinbase is doing to support the creator royalties we partner with many xyz to leverage their royalty registry in order to ensure royalties are handed seamlessly for you so something you really don't have to deal with they're going to do it and probably take a small fee the royalty registry aggregates royalties from the following standard and they tell you exactly what's the standard this will ensure that the creators have their on-chain royalties configured so they are paid out on any secondary sales why are we doing this royalties are not yet a resolved problem for our industry every marketplace does it in their own way thereby potentially locking out creators from future royalties yeah because this is such a new industry they can say we're going to give you royalties and what happened if you sign something that you don't realize what you really signed and they can just say we ain't paying you anything so you really need to 
have a strong company to do it. And good thing with Coinbase, this is a New York Stock Exchange company now. So yeah, I believe they would get it right. Instead of building a wall garden solution, we have decided to support an open standard for royalties. We believe this is the best way for as the NFT space continues to grow. Coinbase will always prioritize supporting open standards. So he continued to go on exactly what's going on. You can find us on Twitter. You can check it out. Let me know in the comments what's your thoughts about that. So you see they did a look like an AMA the other day. I didn't I didn't um listen to it because I didn't feel I actually needed to. I don't get access to it and I'm not about to be buying NFTs anyway. Our beta is officially live. Today we're kicking things off with full access experience to some of our waitlist friends. As we ramp up, everyone can explore the vast the vast collection of NFT on the first version of Coinbase NFT. So you can explore it free for now for a limited time there will be no coinbase transaction fee we'll eventually add fees which will be in line with the web3 industry standard and we'll provide notice ahead of time so yeah man this is some interesting things i want to know in the comments what creators are you going to follow do you have a game plan do you plan on buying any nfts so i would love to hear like what is your strategy when it come down to coinbase nfts and if you guys haven't done it already it means a lot make sure you hit that like button to help out the youtube algorithm leave a comment also subscribe hit the bell notification i will talk to you guys later